This video shows you how to plot a scatter chart on Google Sheets and then put a trend line on it and find the equation of the trend line. So first of all, the data is entered here in columns A and B and notice I've got column headings there in the top row as well. And I need to select all of that data, including the column headings at the top. We're now going to ask the Google Sheets to draw a chart of this data. There's two ways to do that. You can either go to the insert menu and you'll see an option for chart there or I'm going to click on this button on the toolbar here that's a slightly quicker way of doing it. So I'm going to click on Insert Chart, and Google Sheets has decided that a scatter, scatter chart is the best one for me. If not, you'll notice you've got this Chart Editor box opened up on the right-hand side. Go to Chart Type, click on the down arrow, and choose Scatter Graph from there, but it's chosen that for us anyway. And you'll notice that we've got the Mock Exam on the horizontal axis and the IB Actual Exam on the vertical axis um, so it's put them the right way around and that's why we selected the top row as well so it would label up our axis for us okay um next thing we need to do is to customize this to put a, a trend line on it so we'll go over to the chart editor click on customize and then series is the shorthand notation for the data set that you've got they're called data series so if we open up the series dialog box and you'll notice down at the bottom it says trend line. Click on trend line. By default, it should give you a linear one. So if it doesn't, just click on that and make sure linear is selected. Um, and then where it says label, say use equation. And it puts the equation on there for you. So you've got the trend line on and the equation of the trend line. Um, if this isn't large enough for you, if you click on the equation of the trend line, if you notice the editor has now opened up the legend dialog box, um, you can change the font here and you can change the position. We could put it on the right if we like. Um, we can change the font size so it's a bit more legible and change the text color and play around a little bit with that. Notice the um, asterisk for the multiplication sign there has been included. So be a little bit careful when, when writing it down that that's what it is. So that's how you produce a scatter graph, put a trend line on and then find the equation of that trend line using Google Sheets.